My name is Dave Moss. I spend approximately 200 days a year at racetracks all over the country, helping professional and amateur road racers and track day riders with suspension tuning on their motorcycles. This is Two Clicks Out. It's here. It's finally here. The brand spanking new DaveMossTuning.com. All of Dave's videos and articles in one convenient location. Click the link below and enjoy. So the next thing for me to do is ask why your forks are in this position. One of the things, if, especially in regards to chatter, is if the front end is too low in terms of fork placement, there's a potential issue there. So sag in the front is correct as a starting point. Oh. Because the carcass flexes a huge amount, which can all by itself create cheddar. Grab your gear and we'll see you next session. Sounds good, thank you. You're welcome. The tire slid off into the dirt and weeds and I grabbed it and it went down and shot me back all around the tracks. Break this whole stop. But I'm telling you, before I crashed, I don't think I've ever ridden better. The laps preceding that, the bike handled so much better. I noticed I wasn't working as hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, I used to really work hard and it was wearing me out. I, I, the first thing that hit me was it's so much easier to ride. I could just feel it was more stable. How was the chatter? It, was, it, it wasn't gone, but it was minimal compared to what it was. And yep. uh, the bar's bent here. I can tell it's lower, it's bent. Oh, you can see uh, it. So that's going to massively impact your day. Okay. I go through there in three and third and take it down to second to go around seven. But overall, now that we've got you back where you were and focused on braking, we're back in the chatter okay. zone. So chatter can be described in various different ways. It's all gone. <laughs> To schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc., contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.